Hey, you guys, welcome back. Okay, so as you can see, I have zero makeup on. My hair is not done. I'm still wearing my pajama shirt, but I had the idea this morning that I wanted to test um, making larger files in GoodNotes like I used to do when I first started digital planning. Um, if you remember, gosh, it's probably been like a year now, maybe a year and a half ago, I did a video where I tested GoodNotes to see if I could pull all of my um, stickers from a single shop into one book, and it did not go well. I will try to remember to link that in the description. But since I got the new iPad, I have the, um, the one with the 16 gig of RAM, I thought I would try it again and see if we could get it to work. So let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so I'm using the same shop that I did in that previous video. I might have a couple of more of her kits in here, but to be honest, I don't think we made it past adding two. Um, and I did want to go ahead and put a disclaimer out here that um, Apple has announced that each um, app will not have access to your full amount of available gig on your tablet. And by that, I mean RAM, not storage space. Um, so I, <laughs> I don't know. This is a test for me. Um, I do know that the additional um, memory will allow you to do better multitasking and resource allocation. So hopefully this will go well. Now I am going to go ahead and close all of my background apps just to give it the best chance of working. Yeah, we got a lot in here, don't we? Oh, that's embarrassing. Okay, so now all the background tasks are closed and I'm just gonna create a new document and then just do my regular squares. I'm gonna call it random scraps because that's who the shop is. Now, ideally for me and my planning style, this would, this would work. Um, basically because for one thing, I'm kind of a neat freak in that I like to have all of my, um, available content just like in one space and then have them showing, um, like, not like here's a note or here's a planner cover, here's a folder, here's two planner covers and then three folders. You know what I mean? So this is all purely aesthetic. It 100% works to have um, different folders for different shops, but I would really like to have it work the way I want it to. So here's how we're going to do this. Um, I'm going to open each one in a split like this so that I can just kind of copy paste content over. Like I said, I don't have high hopes for this, but if I don't try it, then I mean, what's the point, right? Okay, one quick note, you can already tell that the source document is a lot bigger than my standard document size, which bodes well for us because we won't need to take up as much space. And you can, um, I just did a copy paste, but you can long press and drag them over too. And I'm going to try to fit these in one page. If I was, if I knew that this was going to work, then I would be a lot more particular with how and where I put things. But again, this is a test for me, so I'm not being too picky. Man, I hope this does work, though. Oops. I think this kit even has more stuff in here, too. But again, we're just testing, so let's see what happens. It doesn't. Oh, nice. Okay. So we got that one done. And then we'll create a new page here. Go back here. Okay. And how many? Oh, this is just a single page. Okay, good. And these, FYI, aren't the way that she makes them. They're the way that I organize them once I get them into my good notes. Because I do like to have all the stickers from a kit on one page wherever possible. It's not always possible, 
but it is my preference if I can do it that way. All right, I think that was everything. And uh, again, don't judge my placement. This is just a test. <laughs> if it works, I'll go through and fix everything. Oh, I think this one has a lot of pages, if I remember right. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. I will say this, though, we've already gotten further than we did last time. I'm pretty sure in the last, oh my god, in the last iteration of this test, we, I think we got two kits in and it was already freaking out. So we're, we're doing better. We've got three full kits in right now. Slowing a little. Not horrible. You have to remember, too, I'm also streaming this. So... We're, we're doing pretty good. Okay, then this one. Now, these ones I did not alter. These are the way that she gives them to you. I think I bought these during DPA. And again, forgot I had them. So, I'm going to ask you guys. When you're buying sets do you prefer to have larger elements on fewer pages or smaller elements wait larger elements on more pages or smaller elements on fewer pages bearing in mind that good notes doesn't mess with a resolution if you bring in a sticker that's like this is why i don't mind doing this if i pull these in and make them really tiny and then i try to take one sticker and put it into like an extreme planning it's not going to be pixely good notes is really good about keeping the render size of your files I still have four more pages. All right, we're going to two pages, guy. Okay. But yeah, I'm just curious what everybody else prefers. Because for me, I'd rather have fewer pages. That way I can see everything that I have to work with. Maybe this is a holdover from paper planning days when I would, like, take out my, my bin of, like, markers, stickers, washi, and I would have it all in like one space on my table and be able to look and see what everything was. I think I think I might uh I might have this fixation because of that. All right, is that it for this one? Yeah. Okay. All right, that's 5. Oh, look, she's slow. One, two, three. Oh, we're at four. Okay. All right, we're still, we're still okay. If we can get all these in here, I'm going to be so surprised. Okay, last book. Let's see. Let's see what we got. This I'm already more impressed, you guys. It's already working better than it did before. Because last time, like I said, we got through two, maybe three before it started freaking out. And that was the 2018 iPad Pro, um, which I think had four gigs of RAM. Maybe two? I don't remember, honestly. But it wasn't 16, which is what this one has. And again, it's not that good. It's not that GoodNotes gets to use all that available RAM. But anything running in the background, like my mirroring software or, you know, Wi-Fi, anything like that, 
it's getting to use that instead of sharing with GoodNotes the two or four gigs that are available of RAM, not storage space. So it looks like it's making a difference. To be honest, I didn't think it would just because I had heard so many people say, well, it's not letting you use all the memory. It's just sharing what's available. So I don't know. I, I'm glad I'm testing this for myself and I'm cautiously optimistic that it might be working. Okay, we get it. We get it, she says. Okay, so now we have a 12-page document with uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 kits. So I'm going to export this document as a GoodNotes file. And then this will automatically, I'll airdrop it to my MacBook. Oh, it's big. It's big. <laughs> All right, here we go. And I'm not going to check the PNG files that she includes. I'm going to check her actual GoodNotes files to see how big they are. Okay, this one is 152.3 meg. And remember, that's over 10 kits. So let's see. Go to my random scraps folder. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, I was just making sure I had them all in here. Okay, so the first one, oh my god, this is going to math me. Hold on, let me get my phone here so I can use a calculator. Okay, so the first one is 28.3. For all 10 kits in random scraps, we are at uh, 231.7 on the actual... GoodNotes files, and our combined file is 152.3. So we've got a huge, huge space, you know, of a huge difference in numbers. Pay attention, Jenna. So I'm going to close this file, and then I'm going to try to go back into it <clears throat> and see what GoodNotes thinks of that. So pop it open. You know what? I'm going to do one better. I'm going to close this and then I'm going to totally close. Oh, look at all these good notes from Windows. Let's close all those. Go into good notes. This is just my weekly planner. So now we're going to open this random scraps one. Holy crap, you guys. It looks like it worked. Oops. It's a little slower than obviously the smaller ones, but it's, it's not shutting GoodNotes down. GoodNotes is not freaking out and being like, I can't do this. I can't use this. So I'm surprised. Again, it's not as fluid as it would be if you were using them all individually. You know what? Let's test that. Which one was a big one? Um, I think this mint one was. Yeah, see, there's no delay pulling this one open. Let's see. Denim was another big one. Okay, this one has a... Or is that a folder that I accidentally opened? It is. Okay, that was my fault. Okay. Don't want to have that one in there. Let's check the sea and stars. Yeah, there's like no delay if you're just using the actual file itself. Whereas we do have a bit of a delay with this one. But honestly, it's not. It's only noticeable because you're not used to seeing a delay at all. So I'm surprised. Um, I don't yet know if I'll do this with all of them. Only because I have some shops where I've got so much of their crap that it would be like a 300 meg file. So, and I'm kind of in this realm, I'm kind of an all or nothing kind of a person. I don't want to have um, everything in one shop in one book, but then this shop I have a folder or I have three books. You know, I don't know. I'm weird. I'm weird. 
But yeah, so that's that's my verdict. I'm going to say that it's definitely capable. It is capable. Um, and again, this was a direct test between these exact files on this iPad 2021 versus the 2018 iPad Pro. So I'm going to say if you want to if you want to do your shops in one um, notebook instead of multiple notebooks in folders, it seems viable if you've got uh, if you have this tablet. So I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to have to think on this one. I'm I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm surprised and impressed. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you Tuesday in our plan with me. Bye, guys.